Classy people, how y'all doing? Wayne Bolden from the Speed King channel. As always, please do us a big, big favor. Turn your closed captions on. That way you can see the horses that we are talking about and analyzing. And of course, big weekend coming up. It is Memorial Day weekend. Our tip sheets will be available for Saturday, Santa Anita and Belmont Park. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday will have those uh, two tracks for this uh, holiday weekend. Each track is $20. Please email us at speedking24 at yahoo.com. Get them in, get them early, and that way you'll have them. Again, speedking24 at yahoo.com. Belmont and Santa Anita. Well, I'm up to my old tricks again. We're back to our regular schedule. And, of course, we always look at the stake races during the middle of the week. And we're here at Will Rogers on Tuesday the 24th. Ninth race, it is the Will Rogers Stakes. It is for acclaimed Oklahoma breads, uh, three-year-olds, flat, a field of seven. Going one mile for 55,000, three-year-olds. Let's take a peek. Legionary. Legionary is uh, not a nice horse. I like the horse because the horse is speedy and it's going to be on the lead, right? Seven, seven starts, one win, one second, and two thirds, right? Very nice. This is Mr. Steve Young or Scott Young. I always call him Steve. Scott Young doing uh, the training. These horses take turns beating up on each other, the whole field of seven, right? So they always race against each other. But Legendary, to me, got the pace figures here and should get to the top. This will be one of my top two picks in the race for sure, and particularly at 5-1. to one. The number two, uh, Khalil. Khalil's a very, very nice horse. Only won one race from three starts and has one second. And uh, Crodoc is our trainer of record. And we have uh, Wetty, Wetty Jr., Floyd Wetty Jr. in the arms. Really, really good rider over there. This is going to be my top pick. I like this horse by foreign policy, right? I love the rider, Mr. Floyd, in the arms. And uh, the horse is coming off of a beautiful race some 13 days ago, which I don't like. Okay, I always like three to four weeks with these type horses. and um, But, I mean, the horse is six to one, Kaleo, the number two. So will still be my top pick, even though I don't like the 13-day return. Beckett's Lucky's Day. Well, it could be. I mean, these horses, again, beat up on each other. Beckett's Lucky Day, the number three horse, um, I mean, you know, one win from 12 starts, right? This is really a non-winners of two lifetime. Hamilton has got the services in the arms. This horse's speed figures is good. This horse ran, uh, beat Rhodey's uh, Rascal in this race, which is the number um, four horse in here. But again, they take turns. I don't have a problem with the number three. Beautiful price at six to one. I'm going to throw him out, though. Ro uh, Rowdy Rascal, the old rascal horse, the number four horse, four wins from nine starts. No, you didn't. That's what I said. Now, I mean, the first three horses only have one win. So Rowdy Rascal, we know, knows where the winner's circle is because he's won four of nine. How could you leave this horse off the ticket, right? I mean, this horse is by Den's Legacy. And uh, who is it, Castor? Yeah, old Mr. Castor at 16% doing the training. And Medina's in the arms. Cold, funky Medina's in the arms over there for a rowdy rascal. At 5-2 to two and is the favorite on the morning line. I get it. Probably be my third choice. Well, our cornerstone. Well, this horse is a cut below. Come off of a beautiful claiming race for $7,500. Right? Three wins from 10 starts. That's really, really good. Just seems a cut below here. Great price at 10 to 1, the number 5, Al Cornerstone. We're going to throw him out. Cadre Ma uh, Matra. Cadre Matra, the number 6 horse. Well, here's a speedy horse. The old Matra horse has two wins from four starts. Let me see you shake a stick at that. You can't. One second and one third. In other words, in four starts, Cadre Matra never not hit the board. You can't. I mean, how are you going to shake a stick at that? And, of course, one of my favorite sires, Jimmy Creed. See Casa Creed, right? One of my favorite horses. Jimmy Creed, wow, what a great sire Jimmy had turned out to be. And then Cadre Madre is coming off of a 172-day layoff. Was on the uh, vet scratch list February 10th. I never liked that. I'm going to take a wait and see off the long layoff and see if Cadre Madre can actually run here. 
the number six. I would still use them underneath if I'm playing exactas and trides. I have every right to run big here, though. I mean, a horse isn't horrible. Cadre Matri, the number six. And the number seven, Inca Empire. Well, Inca Empire is a very nice horse. Again, one of the horses in here, they race against each other all, all the time, all seven of them. So they take turns smacking each other around. And Inca Empire is no different. Two wins from seven starts, one second. That's okay. Midshipman is the, uh, is the sire. Mariah is, the, uh, Mariah is our rider here. Speed figures are okay. Okay, I'm going to leave this one off my ticket in the wind hole. You could use the number seven, Inca Emperor, underneath. So, in the Will Rogers stake race for three-year-olds, on Tuesday, one mile, who is it going to be? Well, I'm going to go ahead and use Kaleo, uh, Kaleo the number two horse. I love the price at six to one. The horse should be sitting third or fourth in the catbird seat. Should save ground. Okay, so my top pick is going to be the number two horse. Who's my second pick? Well, I can't help but a legionary. Legionary is the one horse, and it is a flat mile, and this is, appears to be the speed of the race. If this horse gets out and saves the ground, the number one horse, le uh, legionary, at five to one is a very, very nice price. Okay, so again, speed is what? King. So my second pick is the number one, legionary. And there's no way I could use, uh, leave Rowdy Ra Rascal, Rowdy Rascal off the ticket. The horse has won four of nine, almost, excuse me, almost 50%. I mean, how are you going to do anything with that? I mean, he's five to two on the morning line. He's my third pick, obviously a win contender, because he's one of the only few in here who knows how to get his picture taken on a regular occasion. Nine starts, four wins, you can't shake a stick. He's the one to beat, for sure, in the Will Rogers Stakes on Tuesday. So, what is it? Kaleo, the number two. We like the horse at five to one. Beautiful price. Actually, at six to one morning line. And Legionary, the number one is five to one. Our second pick. So, we got great value there. Two, one. Both of them is six to one and five to one. And our third pick is Rowdy Rascal at five to two. So, it's two, one, five in the Will Rogers stakes race on Tuesday. One flat mile. Let's see what you folks think. Let me know. Shout out to my folks out there in Oklahoma, for sure, at Will Rogers. My boy Nate loves Will Rogers. There you go. Two, one, four, in that order, on Tuesday, ninth race, at beautiful Will Rogers. My name is Wayne Bolden. I do approve this message. Having a bunch of fun. Talk to y'all real shortly.